two-point charges Q1 and Q2 are placed on the y-axis. Q1 at the origin carries negative 5 nanocoulombs of charge. Q2 is at y equals to 0.2 meters. The net electric field is 0 at y equals to 0.3 meters. Part A. Find Q2. B. Where on the y-axis between Q1 and Q2 is the electric potential 0? Part C. Find the work required from an external agent to bring a negative 2 nanocoulombs charge from y approaches to infinity to the location found in part B. Because the electric field produced by the two-point charges is zero over here, that means uh, the electric field produced by the two charges must be equal amount and in opposite directions. The field produced by the Q1 negative charge goes into the negative charge. That means that the field produced by Q2 must go upward away from the charge, out of the charge, so Q2 has to be a positive charge. But we still need to find how much Q2 is. So we already took care of the direction. We still need the electric field to have equal magnitude. So the electric field produced by the charge point charges, that's the KQ over R squared. The field produced by Q2 over there is KQ2 divided by the distance squared. The distance from 0.2 to 0.3 meters is 0.1. The field produced by Q1 over there is K, and I'm just going to use the magnitude, so it's a 5 nano divided by the distance squared. The distance is 0 to 0.3, so it's a 0.3 meters. We can cancel the Ks, and then we will be able to solve for Q2, which is 5 ninths times 10 to the negative 9th coulomb. So it's uh, 5 9th nanocoulombs. That's the answer for part A. And then for part B, we want the electric potential to be 0 somewhere between y equals to 0 and y equals to 0.2. The Q1 is a negative charge. It gives us a negative electric potential. Q2 is a positive charge. It gives us a positive electric potential. And uh, to have V equals to 0, that means uh, we want the voltage provided by the two-point charges to add up to be zero. Electric potential is just a scalar, so we're just adding the negative scalar to the positive scalar. Let's see. The Q2, we found it is 5 ninths, positive 5 ninths nanocoulombs. The location must be closer to the weaker charge, so be somewhere there. Let's say it's at the location y, which means uh, this distance. The distance to the origin is uh, y. So let's see. The v1 is uh, the potential produced by a point charge. That's kq over r. So it's kq. For potential, we have to plug in the sign. So we have to plug in negative 5 nano. And then divided by the distance, that will be y. Plus uh, the potential produced by Q2, that will be K. Q2 is the 5 ninth nano. And then the distance between Y and the point 2 is going to be point 2 minus Y. And these two numbers added together should give us a 0. That means that I can divide by K on both sides divided by m by on both sides, the nano. So we can get rid of the k and the nano. What we get from this equation would be negative 5 over y plus 5 ninth divided by 0 0.2 minus y equals to 0. Of course, I can also divide by 5 on both sides. So I get 1 over y plus 1 ninth divided by 0 0.2 minus y equals to 0. Oh the negative here. So I have 1 ninth divided by 0 0.2 minus y. I'm going to move this term to the other side, so equals to 1 over y. And then I can just cross multiply. So we get 
think 0.2 minus y equals to 1 ninth y and then y would be 0.18 meters. That's where the potential is zero. Part C. We want the work done by an external agent to move this charge. Because of energy conservation, the work done by the external agent is going to turn into the change in potential energy, which is the Q times delta V. We're moving the charge from infinity to this location found in part B. Since uh, at infinity, the potential is zero. And at the location found in part B, the potential is also zero. That means uh, delta V is uh, zero. So the work required would be zero.